Hi guys, Darren from Venom Fluid Art. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Fluid Art Express. Um, I'm obviously up first this week. After me, we have Christy from Creations by Christy. We have Shannon from Shanby Fluid Art. Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Our special guest this week, we have Casey from CWV Artistry. And after Casey, we have Tony, the Hippy Dippy Painter Man. So, stay on board and enjoy the ride. So, what I'm doing today is just having a bit of a play because, you know, I'm a little crazy. So, what I'm going to do is, I've made up a couple of colours. Do, 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 like so. And we're going to do... A little bit of a pour, just for giggles. And see what we end up with. So I've got a little shot glass here. Where is it? There it is. Can't see the camera. Nice job, Wombat. And we're going to start adding some colour to it. So this is the consistency of the paint I am using. I don't go by ratios because every colour you use will be different. Okay. So that leaves a mound. Stays there for, you know, four or five seconds. And disappears. So, fluoro yellow. Add some of that to it. Dookie dookie. We'll go with some pink. Now the pink was um, plastic pink by eye candy. The yellow, the fluoro yellow was satin yellow. So they're both neons. Okay, do a bit of that. Now, when you do these pours out of the cups, the last colour that comes out of your cup is the first colour that goes down. So always remember that when you add your little layers of colour. All right, so we'll go with some blue. That's Okinawa blue. We have some Proton Purple. Bit. I might add a little bit more of the yellow just for giggles. And we have Nikon Blue, Nikon Blue, Nikon, Nikon, I'm thinking cameras. All right, so we'll add some of that, like so. Put that to one side, move these out of the way because I'm going to spray paint all over them. We'll move that. Now, move that out of the way. I have an MDF triangle here that I have put my pillow paint down on already. I love these triangles. These are so cool. I seen Kath Sutton do some paintings the other day with triangles. So I thought, hey, yeah, I want to give that a go. So I cut some out of MDF. So pillow paint is British paint slow sheen. Nothing is added to it. It's just straight out of the can, put on, and then I've spun it out so it's level. 
we get our little cup and we will pour and see what happens. Just go nice and slow. Move it around to make crazy patterns here and there. So when you mix the yellow in first, like I did, and put pink on top, it goes like a pinky orange sort of color. As it comes out. Alright, we're going to go with that. Just roll. Boop. Thanks for coming. Now... If I put that in the middle, it would have been a lot better. Doesn't matter. What we're going to do is stretch it out. Just rotate it around. And what that does is open up all in crazy cool patterns. Take it nice and slow. There's no rush. Now if you drop over the edge like I just did, it's going to stretch out your design into a weird shape. Just drop that bit over the edge there. Stretch it down this way a bit. It makes it hard to keep it in frame and see what I'm doing all at the same time. Dip that over the edge there a little bit. Okay. Now come back this way. Stretch it out there. Now I'm going to move that back a little bit. Like that. So that gives us real crazy cool patterns. Now going to torch some of these bubbles try not to burn your paint otherwise it skins and that's not a good thing all right so that's our first bit then what I'm going to do is grab out the same colors that we used. Just for fun. I figure we'll do some swipes on these corner bits. That way we can mix it up a little bit. 
have a bit of fun with different techniques all on the same piece. So that's our Proton Purple. That looks crazy cool. Love it. So yeah, you don't just have to do one type of technique on the one piece. If you don't want to, you can go nuts. You know, I've done plenty of crazy ones that are like double flip cup radial swipe blooms and it's like half a dozen techniques all rolled into one. It's heaps of fun. Okay, so there's our pink. We'll add some yellow. that and I'll just go the light blue I think I'll keep the dark blue out of it because I'm going to use a black cell activator Okie dokie. So, colours are down. Then what I'm going to do is grab my little torch again. Pop some of these bubbles. Okay. Yeah, it's looking cool. Now, I'll grab my little swipe tool, which is only a really cool little guy. They actually come like that when you buy them. Just a little guy. But what I do is remove the handle. That way it gives you better control. <clears throat> when you do your swipes you can feel how much pressure you've got on there what angle you're on and if you need to change your angle all you're doing is rotating your fingers you don't have to turn your whole wrist you can just like that handy trick when you're first learning that way you get to know how much pressure you're putting down on the paint because you only want it to just sort of skim across the top Whereas if you've got a long handle, your hand's back here, so you, it, it's harder to decide how much pressure you're putting on. Compared to just between your fingers, it's nice and light. It's like using a playing card, really. So, cell activator. We're going to go for Australian Flow Troll with, what was it? I think this one was Lamp Black. at roughly three to one so that's three parts flow troll one part paint so what i'm going to do is start over here do a little swipe in the corner So 
same on each corner. There. And on this side. Okay. Now, what we'll do is grab the little skewer out. And just put some little loops in through that section. Like that. Right, scrape some of this stuff off that's been dripping. Give that a quick scrape from underneath. All right. Go for the center of the spinner, which is roughly there somewhere. And take for a ride. So just going nice and slow. You don't have to go crazy with it. The longer you let it spin, the more it can just flow. Oh, Kidoki. We'll pop that one up. And you end up with some crazy cool stuff going on. So what I'll do is I'll do a flyover of it so you can see that a little bit better. Always wipe underneath. Otherwise, the weight of the paint distorts your design on the top. You don't want that. Also, when you put these somewhere to dry, make sure it is level as humanly possible. Because if it's on a little bit of an angle, all your paint runs off to one side and distorts all your design on the top. Usually come out the next day absolutely heartbroken because everything shifted across. It goes brrr. So we just pop a couple of these little white dots here. And there. That was just a little air bubble. Let's give it a tap. Like that. And away we go. So. That is my piece for today. I just thought it'd be something cool. Something different. So we've got our little paw going on in the middle. We've still got crazy swipes at either end. And it's a lot of fun just to mix and match different techniques all on the one piece. It gives you some really cool, unique designs, so give it a go. You'll have a ball with it, trust me. Okie dokie, that is it from me today. So up next we have 
Christie from Creations by Christie. If you click on her name in the title of the video, it'll take you to her YouTube channel. Her YouTube channel. If you are in the live chat, just click on the links that I'm putting in there. It'll take you directly to her premiere. And if you're in my private group on Facebook, Paint Pouring by Venom Fluid Art, there'll be a link there with a full playlist of everybody that's on today. So all you have to do is click that link, press play all, and you'll get to see everybody one after another as it plays. That way you're not hunting for links and things like that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, hit like, share, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Ding, ding. That way you get to see all my videos as I release them. Okay, that is it from me. Like I said, Christy's up next. So stay on board, check her out. Uh, Casey will be on after Bubbles. So yeah, stay on board. It's a whole heap of fun. All right, guys, have fun. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.